Google Duo arrives to take on FaceTime. Google Duo, a new video chat app that works exclusively on phones, is getting released today. I've been using it for about a week and I can tell you that it's fast, easy to use, and devoid of complicated bells and whistles. You tap on the face of the person you want to call, they answer, and you have a one-on-one -on -one video chat going. Nobody who uses this app can say that Google didn't achieve its goal of creating a video chat app that's relentlessly, explicitly designed solely for phones. That effort is so single-minded I can't decide if it's timid or bold. First, a bit about how Duo works. It's available on both Android phones and iPhones. When you sign up, the app checks your phone number from your SIM and then sends you a confirmation text. That's the whole setup process, there are no accounts to create nor friend lists to maintain. It's tied directly to your contacts list and your phone number. That's great for simplicity, but bad if you want to use Duo on anything other than your phone. It's also unable to make conference calls, put hangout style funny pirate hats on your head during a call, or offer just about any other fancy feature you might expect from a video conference app. We thought amazing on mobile, nothing on desktop was the better approach. Duo's radical simplicity is by design, says Vice President of Google's Communications Division, Nick Fox. By being laser-focused on mobile, he says, it enables us to just make sure that we were doing a great, wonderful job on that case, for us, we thought amazing on mobile, nothing on desktop was the better approach. There is one feature in Duo that feels genuinely new, it's called Knock Knock. When you receive a call on Android, it doesn't work on the iPhone, your entire screen starts showing the live video from your caller before you even answer. It lets you see who's calling, and lets the caller make funny faces to try to entice you to answer. Google's promo video for Duo emphasizes it heavily. Hangouts will continue, but with an enterprise focus. And Fox is also not especially concerned that Google is offering a multiplicity of communication apps. He sees Google's products as split broadly into three bands, Allo and Duo for consumers, Hangouts for the enterprise, and services that are more carrier-focused, like SMS, RCS, and even the phone app. Fox believes that consumers simply aren't confused by a multiplicity of messaging apps, whether they're made by Google or not. People use the apps that their friends are using, he says. And he's excited to see Duo, and, later, Allo, compete with all of them head to head. How Duo will actually compete was, and is, one of my biggest questions. Why use Duo when Facebook Messenger, Snapchat, FaceTime, Hangouts, and any number of other options exist? Is Google going to leverage the massive power of the Android install base somehow? Will Duo be part of the standard suite of Google Play apps reinstalled on the vast majority of Android phones, outside of China? We haven't made decisions on that yet, says Fox. We want to get it out there, see how it does, and then I see distribution as the next step rather than the first step. When I said up top that I couldn't decide whether Google's strategy with Duo was bold or timid, this is what I was referring to. It's not going to be the automatic default for all Android phones, replacing phone calls in the way that iMessage replaces SMS. Google isn't ready to go there just yet, which feels timid. Duo has to compete on its own merits. But it's also bold. In this incredibly crowded marketplace, Google is forcing Duo to compete on its own merits. You can invite somebody to use it by sending them a text from inside the app. But otherwise the plan seems to just be to see how it is received in the marketplace. I asked some variant of how are you going to get users for this thing no fewer than four times in my hour with Fox, and every time the answer boiled down to this, we're focused on building great apps that people love and distribution will follow that. I have no idea if that plan will work, sometimes boldness is just naivety. But I can't help but respect the clarity of purpose behind the creation of Duo. It's aggressively, obsessively focused on making the best possible mobile experience for video chat, at the expense of all else.
He said no to desktop, no to conference calling, no even to allowing the same account to work on multiple devices. For the Duo team, getting mobile first right meant demanding it be mobile only. Duo does one-on-one -on -one video chat very well, which is what Google set out to make it do. The question now is whether or not that's enough, it's enough.